Hey, okay, YouTube. Here we go. This is kind of the final stage of the gar garage attic. As you can see, I finished the back balls. Ha! And the couches are from this, from my outside. So I just put them in here because I have to store them anyways. Um, I created this kind of storage areas, which I still have to organize, but I just finished them. I put that sliding kind of track, which was a pain, but this is actual bamboo hardwood floor extra that I had from the house and I needed something hardwood so I can create these tracks so I can slide this and on top this is just a two by four but I shaved an inch out of it back here so an inch high and a half an inch deep uh, so I can make a track. I was gonna do two separate tracks, but again, this is like a soft wood. I didn't want it to like break off. So it's kind of working so far. Where I um, can just slide this over. And, cause it's just gonna be me or whenever I need it. On this end right here, I still have to put a kind of like a brace back here so it doesn't cave in there but it's sliding and I can get into some of the storage again I'm just gonna put a brace right there I was thinking of putting like handles or maybe creating a little making a little hole for to move it but again it's just me moving the stuff. So I think I'm going to leave it. As you can see right here, I have this light switch. But it's like too close to it. So I'm going to have to maybe push it back a little bit. I don't know how much. I think I can move some of these. A little back so I can slide it back uh, and maybe get a flat um, switch so it doesn't stick out like that but right now I can still bend it back a little bit and slide it over and it closes again this is like my rig thing that I've been bringing my wheels up and stuff and it helps because the space is so small I ordered this or oh, I went to Home Depot and I purchased this rug which is an exterior rug and it comes on a 14 by you know 14 is the width so I need it 24 yards 24 feet I'm sorry so I can get the whole area. And right now, this area right here is not even um, staple or glued. It's just there. Where I staple was on this area. Because I had to cut, cut around it. And I just staple it with like brat nails, brat staples. And I just did like some there in that corner in that corner because i don't want this to be sagging because of course safety we don't want to be like pulling on it and like lose grip or something i'm still thinking about what to create for this i think i want to do some kind of closed door that i can just open with hinges over this way so when i'm up here i can just close it and be able to walk safely around the whole area but that's going to be another little project 
but this is it and this rug was pretty pretty easy pretty light to put in I actually put it inside my car and that's the car yep so I actually folded it and put it right inside there and I bought 24 by 6 uh, 24 by 14 area and it's really light and it's very thin very light, low weight and that's what I was looking for because I don't want to add too much weight up here because it's just a storage area and um, still don't know exactly what I want to do up here but I put this TV that I was using up here just to like kind of listen or watching little things while I'm up here work, working um, I have a plug right here that I only had to I just cut a little piece like that so I can slide it over but you can see it slides pretty good Back here is another thing I still have to organize. So you can see on this side of the storage area, I did have more she rock. So I she rock this whole back. Oh, it's pretty dark back there. But I she rock the whole back over there. And as you can see, it closes good. Just so you can see, I still have like extra car parts, my other wheels, Christmas storage stuff. But of course, I just put the she rock. I'm not gonna compound or anything there. It's just so dust doesn't come off. I have to organize all this section. On this side, it's a mess. Because on this side, well, these are my summer wheels. I still have to kind of work on those. Some crap that I still have to organize. I actually goofed and I left this piece of 2x4 in here. And it's a 12-footer. <laughs> so it's going to be hard for me to take it out. I know it can go in there. I have to take it out. And... Then I still have to cover some of this insulation so I don't want like all that dust coming in. I have some extra insulation there that I'm gonna use. But some extra shingles and things that I have that I'm saving. But as you can see, this is what I did. What I had to do was like almost had to do three cuts on my table saw for each of these grids or tracks. I did an inch, an inch measurement on my saw. I did one cut, then I flipped it, did the other side, one inch. I did all the woods at one time that I would have to remove the blade. Cut that, then brought the wood back in, moved it in like a quarter of an inch or less than that did another cut then do the third cut again individual things i didn't want to record at my i don't have a nice slap times camera but that's what i did and again i probably will do some kind of um pole or handle for these things after but again right now I'm just glad I'm kind of making this area look a little better. But again, that's how it looks. Ceiling came out, you know, you can still see a lot of the imperfections in this G-Rock. But again, this is just my space for, I don't know, again, don't know what I'm going to do. I'll get back to you. I still have to put some trim up in the corners up there. And this down here, actually, this piece is the piece from the 2x4 that I trim. So I'm just using it for like, kind of like the trim on the bottom. Again, that piece is what came out of here. So I'm reusing that. 
still got winter stuff my blower that I actually have to take out and put my uh, lawnmower up here now some other winter ties oh, okay that's what it is nice space and I can walk this is the other window overlooking the yard gives me a nice area to look people watch crazy people